feed these hungry Steam Deck fans. <laughs> you know they stay hungry. Anyway. Alright, what do we got for these people? What do we got? What do we got for them? Oh. Okay, Chris. Talk! <laughs> What's up, people? Another beautiful day. Or night. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. What? To you Steam Deck fans, what's up? Okay, okay, Linux nerds, listen to this. Oh, Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion, what's good? Steam Deck Mob, yeah, me, Steam Deck Squad, what's up with it? <laughs> I'm sitting here playing around here. All right, well, look, look man, look, l l listen up, you Linux fans. Remember the 286, 386? 486. Hmm. All right. Remember your AGP port, your PCI slot, ISA slot. Okay. All right. You remember your north and south bridge? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sitting here messing with y'all. Look. Listen to this article. Linux kernel may drop i486 support as Torvald backs Pentium plan. Okay. So, so the 486DX was introduced in 1989. So 486, goodbye. Time to close the door on you. <laughs> anyway, listen to this. It says here, the 486 CPU is somewhat of a relic these days, but its legacy in the Linux kernel has lived on. The i486 has been the de facto minimum for decades, even Linux, that long-term supporter of outdated architecture is considering giving up on the chip and removing support for uh, for 486 processors, just like it did with the 386 back in 2012. Yeah, yeah, that that that, that explains why uh, you couldn't. That explains why you couldn't run, uh, say, uh, Ubuntu 20.4 on i386 architecture. So now it's the 486 turn. Goodbye, 486. We miss you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let me stop playing here. Let me stop playing here. Let me get serious here. Okay. Um, says here, the news comes via post on Linux kernel uh, mailing list from, from Linus uh, Torvald himself, recently keen on adding things like Rust programming language and support for Intel Arc GPU and Loom a long send uh, CPU to the Linux kernel. Uh, Toval is now considering removing the variable 486 writing. We got rid of i386 support back in 2012. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe it's time to get rid of i486. Goodbye. <laughs> support in 2022. Says here, uh, the idea which seems so obvious in these days of Raptor Lake and Ryzen 7000 receives a certain amount of pushback with the claim from some users that new hardware based on super super uh, super ran uh, native uh, silicon was being uh, shipped when the same plan was raised a year ago one user said they were still using a 486 and wanted to continue doing so Hmm. So let, let, uh, let listen for I eighty three I three eighty six have to deal with that. And we couldn't run and we couldn't run Ubuntu uh, nineteen point four or twenty on it, so it's time for the four eighty six. Goodbye. Alright. <laughs> says your uh where am I at? Okay, it says uh one user okay. One user says they were using a forty six and wanted to continue doing so. Let me continue here. And says here the 486, which dates back to 1989, is currently the minimum possible spec for running Linux, and works best with lightweight distros such as tiny, tiny core Linux. <laughs> it's it all comes down to CMPX CHG8B, an instruction that compares then exchange eight bytes or 64 bits in parentheses says here of information in the computer memory mailing list members peter uh, zilstra zilstra suggested linux should only support processors capable 
of carrying this out, leaving the 32-bit 486 behind and meaning new Linux kernels would run on P5 class hardware are nowhere. Hmm, all right. The CMPXCHG8B instruction is the culprit behind the original Pentium F F00F bug, which saw an affected CPU without operating system uh, my, mitig mitigation in place ceased to function until it was rebooted when asked to ex execute the instructions. It says kernel 6.1 out this year will be a long-term support kernel, but with uh, Toval backing to the idea it could be the last one that will run on a 486 with 6.2 removing the ability to run Linux on ancient Bay Towers. <laughs> And it's, that's the end of the uh, that's the end of the article. Well, technology is moving, and we got to move on from the old architecture to the new. So, uh, for a person like me right now that's still using uh, <laughs> Ubuntu eighteen point Ubuntu eighteen point four right now, <laughs> um, time for me to get off my i three eighty six and uh, step my game up. <laughs> And get and start using 20 20 uh 20.4 and 22.4 but um this was this but this was bound to happen though when it comes to the um when it comes to the uh the architecture of linux you know um, they they first it was 286 386 and now 486 so um the, the, the um it was over it was you could say it was overdue you know so um uh, you know, it's time to get better, better hardware. You gotta, you gotta run Linux on better, on better hardware now. You know, especially, especially the way these motherboards are coming out now. And um, with with and, and the RAM that is keep and the RAM plus you got solid state drives to deal with. So it, it's time to um, time to move on, man. You know, and we, well, I mean, we support we support all those old architectures. You know, and um. We did what we could, so time to move on to the new, you know. Um, it doesn't, um, I mean, you could still, I mean, you could still go online. I mean, with the, I mean, we're 486 architecture right now, but the 486 days are numbered, you know. Um, I mean, you, I mean, you can run what Linux, what you can run, like, I, like I'm using Ubuntu right now, so. I could use uh, 20.4 and 22.4 on a 486, or even 19.4, but after 22.4, that might all change, you know. So yeah, but it's but it's time it's time to um time to move on, man. You know, um, they have they have supported the the whole architecture for so long, you know, and they they they, they did what they could, you know. You know, whole uh, old uh, uh, hardware has their limitations, so they saw they saw the writing on the wall, so it was time. So yeah, and that's the way the technology and that's the way technology world works. It keeps moving. It doesn't just stop on it doesn't just stop on one hardware. It just keeps moving, you know. So and I'm sure that a lot of Linux users are probably happy that they're moving away from this, you know. And use and using better better architecture, you know, better hardware. So yeah, it was overdue, <laughs> but it was fun while, it, like they say, it was it was fun it was it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> you know, so hey, time to move on. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video with this article so y'all can enjoy it. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Dark side. Go. Peace.